Oh gosh, it's so cold. Guys, two of the most commonly frostbitten areas are our cheeks and our chin, believe it or not. I've got other areas that are commonly frostbitten, ones that you might not have guessed, so stay with me. But first of all, frostbite, you should know this. Some of the symptoms of frostbite is when you're, well, frostbite happens when your tissues actually freeze. So your skin can turn white, waxy, you get red. You can even have some pain as well, but sometimes and often we get actually numbness. We don't feel our area, uh, the skin very well. Blisters as well um, can develop. And actually the dangerous part with frostbite is that your tissues can actually, um, they can actually die, okay? Dead skin and tissue can occur. That is very dangerous. So if you, oh goodness, if you think you have frostbitten tissues, you gotta see an emergency medical professional right away. Okay, before we get to the most commonly frostbitten areas, dress in several layers. You see me looking like like this? Okay, yeah. Got the hat that's covering my ears. I got the big fluffy hat. I got a big coat. I got gloves on. You can't see them. By the way, guys, mittens uh, tend to be more protective than gloves, okay? So put those on the kiddos, on yourself too. Make sure you're dressing in warm layers and layers that with moisture because like cold weather and wet does not go together. Also, look out for signs of frostbite. Like just look out for those signs and don't drink alcohol if you're out in the cold and stuff because it can numb your senses and make it less make you less able to tell if you're being frostbitten, okay? Also, keeping moving helps because it helps blood flow to our extremities, which is super important. Now let's go back to the areas where we are most likely to be frostbitten. The areas that we're most likely to be frostbitten are areas and body parts that are furthest from our core. Um, we get less blood flow there and it's easier to be frostbitten. So I mentioned the chin and the cheeks, right? But also your fingers, your nose, your toes, your ears, other body parts too that are exposed. Um, so yeah, seek medical attention right away. Do not delay. And this is the thing. Let me put my stuff down here. Oh gosh, it's so cold. Um, if you think you've been frostbitten, you're going to seek medical attention. But the thing about it is you want to start warming that area as soon as you can, okay? Example, like hands, put those under your armpit to warm them. Body heat is great for warming areas. Also, you could use a blanket to cover the area. Obviously, get in the cold. I need my gloves on right now. Super important. Um, you could also put your affected area in warm water, not hot water, because hot water can burn you. You do not want that. Also, stay away from things like um, heating pads, stoves, furnaces, etc., to warm your area because it actually can burn your tissues. Don't rub them. Not a good thing Ease up either. Not a good thing either. So you got to be very gentle with tissue that you think might be burned. Body heat is a good one. You know, getting into the warmth, etc. Just understand, frostbite is uh, potentially a medical emergency. You've got to take care of yourself. Look after yourself and other people. Uh, let me know how you stay warm when it's cold outside. I'm Dr. Jane Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Please let me know what you do to stay warm. For those of you on Facebook, thank you for sending stars. I'll respond to you personally. Uh, please like and follow my page. Also, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell for updates. Check out my website, Dr. Jane Cottle, for more tips. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. See you soon.